To import a version 2 project into Analysis, simply go to your file browser and select the project directory and then drag it into version 3. Depending on how large your project is, it may take a minute or two for everything to load, but ideally it should all work without any manual intervention. Because the whole window philosophy in version 3 is very different to version 2, you won't immediately get any windows popping up in your drop area. But you can see that something has happened on the sidebar. We've now got all our spectra listed here. And if I drag one into the drop area, then I can see that it is here and everything as well. The contour levels and colours are currently not preserved, so unfortunately you'll have to set those up again. We can have a look at our um, customising spectrum display video and also our working with modules video to get a sense of how you can set up all your spectrum windows as you would like. Uh, you can access all the data that's been imported here through the sidebar. Um, peak lists are nested underneath the spectra. What used to be resonances in version 2 have now become NMR atoms, residues and chains. And your molecules are also, or your protein chains, are listed here under chains. Uh, we've got a separate video again about NMR residues, atoms and chains, um, which will give you a bit of an idea of how all of that works in version 3. The view menu may also be helpful to you. Again, you can access many of the tables that you're familiar with from version 2 uh, through this menu. If you now have a look at your file browser, you will see that an additional directory has been created. So it has the project, same project name, and then it has .ccpn appended. That is where version 3 has now saved a version 3 version of the project. And that is standard practice now for version 3 that all project directories end with .ccpn.